welcome back. i got a journal to share with you guys today. Um, this is another hardcover um, by Nick the Booksmith, of uh, course. So <clears throat> it's a 575 by um, 8.5 inch journal, and I've got three signatures in this one. The kit I've used today, I've had for a while. This is a Dreams Etc. kit. It's called Winged Elements. So if you like the kit, you know, you'll have to go to her site and, and look it up. It's not a design team project for me, so. But I do like this kit. It's it's kind of whimsical, and I really like the colors in it. They're, um, <clears throat> they're just, an, it's just a really nice color combination, I think. So I'll get started trying to give you guys a bit of a close-up on the cover. This, I've just layered you know multiple images done stitching I've got some vintage trim here this is just some crocheted trim off of a um, doily and then here I, I did some collaging with some um, various laces and some muslin and then I just stitched this little um, metal butterfly I thought it needed something um, to go along with that and then I've sewn all of that onto that little safety pin so I'm really happy with how that's come out um, like I said the back I've kept this <clears throat> plain on the back but this has all been hand painted so uh, it's a very lengthy process this um, creating these journals because um, they like I said they're not altered books so everything you know they're they're hand painted before I come back and do either um, the only ones that aren't would be if I do my fabric ones, um, and then I just do collaging over that. So the closure, I've done some more stitching, um, zigzag stitch on some cotton, and we'll just go inside. Um, I appreciate everybody It took the time to leave some comments um, on that last journal because it's very, very helpful for me, um, and I've listened to those comments, and I've, I've tried to... Um, <coughs> take all that on board with my journals. I think maybe I've been putting a bit too much in there. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to take you through this one and I'll show you um, what I've done in this. So as I said, the, the signature's been sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. Um, and then I've just um, added a pocket here. Uh, did a little bit of collaging, uh, not collaging, sorry, some stitching with um, different pieces from the kit and then just um, I've got a lot of <clears throat> various ephemera that I've collected over the years so I've just taken a mix of stuff that coordinate, coordinated nicely with this. As you can see the colors I really think it's it's pretty and I, I'm really happy with how this has come out. Um, and I've done uh, fabric tabs on this one. I've done a bit of stamping uh, just tried to keep a lot of writing space on here. I did stitching throughout. Um, here is a tuck spot. I've not put anything in that pocket, but it's a nice big pocket for you. These are some of the um, tags that come with the kit. They're huge, but I thought they made a really nice tuck spot. Um, just various papers in this um, from my stash. This is some old um, book page. And I've got I've got stuff from the kit. I've got just papers I've downloaded online. This is handmade uh, paper, and this is really durable paper. But oh gosh, it feels wonderful. I thought that coordinated really nicely with the colors. This this you know the kit's kind of cool because. Um, it kind of incorporates all colors, so everything kind of went. Here I've just made kind of like a book bookmark out of this big, uh, you get these big words in the kit, which is really nice to work with. Did some collaging on that one and, and machine stitching. It's a nice big journal, um, journal kit. Um, this is some tracing paper. So it's a lot of fun. Um, you you get a lot of elements with it. So it's gosh, I've had that kit now for a couple of years, I think, and I've really this is I think the only second time I've had chance to work with it. 
Um, here I've done some more of the embossing, so you've got the butterfly impression on that. Love that. And I thought that went nice against that page. This is um, obviously a, a page from the kit. Beautiful. Um, tea, tea dyed papers in here. Like I said, some stamping. Here I've done a belly band with some stitching. I've not put anything behind it because, like I said, I, I didn't want to overfill this. Um, here I've just done a little mini uh, Rolodex card, and this is another of the um, tags that comes with the kit. Just a little altered paper clip with various things that I had left over. I'm trying to get to where I'm using everything that I print out because, oh gosh, I've got about three binders, guys, that are just heaving with uh, scraps, and I'm really, really trying to get through my stash. I think I started a Stash Buster series about, what, six months ago, and I take about two steps forward and four steps back because um, just when I start clearing it out, it seems like other stuff comes along and and then I end up with a lot, but I am really, really trying to um, be disciplined on <clears throat> using up everything. I love this page. I think that's really pretty. Another piece of the uh, tracing and some more fabric tab. This is just the back of the um, handmade paper. I do love that paper. I have to seem to touch everything. But that's what I like. I like in my journal is lots of um, textures and variety. And lots of paper. That's the back. That's the end of the first signature there. And this is the beginning of the, of the second. I love that paper. Isn't that? The colors are just really, really pretty in this. Here I've done... Um, this is some muslin that I've stitched on, and that's just a little tuck spot there. Did some stitching around this. It's a journal card I created from some leftover scrap from it. Another little journal card there. Did some stenciling in, in this one. Um, some more embossing. Show you guys those pages. Beautiful. Here I've made a little pocket, did some sh more machine stitching around it, just did some collaging on that, and then I included another little tag. It's an index card, um, ledger paper, some more stamping here, and this is a little. Um, bag that I've created a little pocket with. Some Edith Holden page in this. And this is some more uh, kind of like handmade paper. A doily. And then here I did a bit more embossing on this one. And that's the center of the signature there. And then another pocket here. I've done some uh, layering with one of the um, cutouts that you get with the kit there. And then I made another little journal journal card here. And on the back I've made this pocket. And actually that was supposed to go in there. So that's a little like a little floating pocket. You could move that anywhere you want. Love these papers. I can't seem to uh, get enough of the bees at the moment. I've got one more beekeeper journal in the works, but I don't know. I kind of put it on the back burner, so um, I don't know when I'll get around to that. But yeah, I don't know. I guess with you know everybody's kind of looking forward to spring at the moment, so that must be why I'm being drawn to um, back to nature things again. Um, this is another. 
tags or journal cards. And then this is an image from it, and I've just stitched around that, made a little flip flip spot. Or not a flip spot, a tuck spot. Gosh, get with it. <laughs> A lot of writing space. I, I don't know right off the top of my head how many pages, but um, it, I don't know. You'll see, it, it'll be in the listing, but I'm sure it's over 120. Here's some more stenciling I did with that um, on that page, and then that's the back of the uh, second signature, and then this is. Um, I've done some stitching here and created another little tuck spot, and then I did some collaging for that <clears throat> tag there. Some more embossing on that uh, fabric tab. I love these in journals. Here I've got a couple of little um, journaling cards from various things I've collected. Did some machine stitching around this pocket. grid paper, some more of that handmade paper that's flipped over, and then there's another page from that kit. Just a really beautiful, vibrant kit. I love uh, turquoise, so of course I would have been drawn to this. <coughs> and then here I've just included another little journal journal card and then I believe this one is a Tracy Fox but uh, it went nicely with it so I've tucked that in there here I've got a music sheet pocket this is a journal card from the kit and then I just did some stitching on that one and then another little envelope it's been left so you can journal or glue it up and make an envelope out of it. Yeah, I think everybody's ready for spring, although, like you guys know, I'd, I'd be happy to have a nice big snowstorm come through, but I don't think it's going to happen this year, so I'm already starting to look forward to um, doing some gardening and hopefully get, get a few vegetables growing this year. Um, here is a tag I made. Um, this is a stamp set I purchased recently down at the Blade uh, Rubber Stamp Shop in London. And I think this brand is called Paper Artsy. I'd never used theirs before. I love the stamp set because you get um, a couple of really pretty um, words stamps in it. So um, if, if you've never checked that company out, do look for them because they've got some gorgeous nature um, stamps. So that was a lot of fun. I did some like a little bit of a paper ruffle here and, and stitched that and then I just collaged it and then obviously this is one of the images. So yeah, that was a really nice um, stamp to pick up. And then this was just a floating, a little floating pocket that I had tucked in there. And here's another little journal card from the kit. This is more lined paper. And the kit's got a lot of lined paper too, which is really nice. Um, she's got papers that are just design, and then she's got a section of papers that are all lined, so it's, it is beautiful. Here's another tuck spot I uh, created with another one of the big um, tags. So I love those. I think they're really, really nice little places to add some things. And then a bit more stamping I've done there. Look at that, how it's, this is one of the pages from the kit, and it's Got the coffee stain marks and like dripped water. I love that. Beautiful. Love that page as well. 
and here um, a bit more of the embossing and then this is a pocket that I've created so you can put something in that and then this is the very back of the um, journal and I've done a nice big pocket in this one and then I included this is one of the postcards that comes with the kit, so that's tucked away in there. Um, so there it is. It's a big journal, and um, I'm really pleased with how it's come out. And I appreciate you guys so much um, for leaving comments. And um, it's just really interesting to me to know what other people, you know, enjoy in the journal. You know, it, I don't know. It's just really nice to hear from people. Well, I like you guys interacting anyways. That's just really nice to, to see people taking the time to to um, to leave comments. So I appreciate that. But I hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. Um, we're nearing it now. And um, I hope you guys have a great one. Everybody stay safe. And I will see you guys here again soon. Take care. Bye.